The two main things in life that most people are scared of, I can tell you right now, is either going to be drowning or being eaten alive. Among witches, werewolves, vampires, and zombies, I'm definitely more scared of the latter. And the reason is because I don't want to be eaten alive. And I don't think you want to be either. And I can tell you right now, there will be two types of people during the zombie apocalypse that will be there, which is either the people that plan for the zombie apocalypse and survive, and then there will be the people that don't. And we will call those people dinner. Now, how exactly do you plan for something that's probably not going to happen? Most of you will say, oh yeah, I'll just get a bunch of guns and I'll just shoot them all up. But guns make noise, which attract zombies, so eventually run out of ammo. So you can use a sword or a combat knife, or a crossbow, or a baseball bat. The problem with those last two is that you probably can't cut off the zombie's head in, you know, a short amount of time. But, you know, another portion of you will be like, well, I'll just get on top of a tall building and snipe the good-for-nothing zombies. And that probably will be solved. But the thing about that is you got to think about three other very important things. And that is food and ammo and people. Now, with food, you cannot whatsoever think about candy bars or those delicious cream-filled goodies and become one of those Twinkie Lust Frenzy people. Uh, like that guy off of Zombieland, that weird one. Yeah, you don't want to become him. You want to think about a lot of carbs. You got to think about something that gives you a lot of energy like vegetables and pasta and whole grain those have a lot of carbs uh, with ammo I know I just said that guns aren't a good thing but it's always good to keep a variety of guns around also a variety of people now with people sorry antisocial people but you won't live because you gotta sleep sometime and those fucking zombies will get you in your sleep so you need a helping hand also a good place to stay until the zombie apocalypse wanes away would be your own house to get on top of the roof and stay there no matter how hot it is and uncomfortable because yeah you just gotta you just gotta bear with me so recap on that you're gonna need carbs ammo not delicious cream filled goodies and become one of those weird zombie land people you need people and guns and you need to stay in your own house and wait it out be safe okay